Seagulls on the run. And what a glorious day. This is uh, Somerville, first day of summer, Mornington Peninsula. Um, this video is going to be how to install, or how I'm going to install, my Safety Dave onto my Avon Aspire 555. Some of you will probably be aware, it looks like it's already set up, and it is already set up because we had a previous one of these that got written off. Someone drove into it. So I was able to salvage some of the parts off my old caravan and I'm going to move them across onto this new caravan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate where I'm going to put my Safety Dave camera on this caravan. And I'll go through how this is all set up as well. Camera, you can screw the camera straight onto the back of the van wherever you want. And you probably see a lot of people will just bang them up here somewhere. But I didn't want to go through the wall, I didn't want to drill, drill through the wall. And I wanted to utilise this bracket here somehow now in my previous iteration um, the other van didn't have any of this on I was able to drill through two holes through here put the bar in and bolt it through but as you can see we've got this in the way this time and if you look through here there's a little web so they've, they've bolstered this a little bit so I don't really want to go drilling into it but there is two holes here they're in this web plate, which is the perfect width for this bar here. So what I'm going to do this time around is I'm going to put clamps through and I'm actually going to clamp it on. So I'll show you how I'm going to do that. I'm actually going to clamp it on there, like that. That's where it's going to clamp. So what's going to happen is the camera's going to sit there, about that far above the tire, so that the wide angle camera just shows the top of the tire. So what you see here is I've already attached the safety dave to my post and I did that by um, fixing a T piece across, a piece of sheet steel there and then I pot riveted the safety dave on it because the safety dave fixings were wider than the post. And you'll also notice I've got two holes drilled in the post and that's because I'm going to feed the cables through there so all the attachments are inside this and not exposed. These are the brackets that are going to hold it all together. So it's going to go across here, and as you can see, there's going to be the post will slide through there, pull it all in. Um, got these from Bunnings, and that's about 80 wide by 150 long. About 80 across here, 150. What it is, they just come with these stock, and they're not going to hold it in place, and come with a bracket that comes in. But look at that. I trialed it. And you've got to pull it tight and it flexes. So I'm going to fabricate some stronger ones of them. And to replace these, I'm going with some nylocks so that they don't jiggle free when we're driving. So welcome to my little den. So here's the steel. I've already had this, so I'm going to make this stronger. Use a permanent texture here. You can see what I'm going to do. Put it to a similar length and then I've got to drill some holes in them spaces. I'm going to create two of these and have two brackets. My template. Okay, so I've got my two pieces. I'm going to smooth them off with this just to make sure there's no rough edges and take it from there. flimsy one like that much better feel better with that so you can see this one fed through that hole there it's at a bit of an angle because of that weld but that's okay and this one will fit nice and straight but this plate just has to sit underneath this web here okay so there's a good there's a good bit of distance there um, that should hold this nice and tight so as I mentioned before this I'd pre-prepared it's 40 mil square section these are going to go in here that grommet will go in hold there they're not concealed in there but they're actually only just there so what i've got to do is i've got to very carefully 
use the length of that one to attach these and then pull it all up. But what I have to do is try and get all this cabling into this tube to attach to those leads which are going to be in the tube. So I'm going to go in the tube that way with them and the main one here is going to go in the tube that way and somewhere in there they've got to attach. Now you can't do it because you can't get in. So what I've done is I've made this lead light slightly longer so it goes all the way through, pops out the other end. I will feed these two through the little hole, pop it out the other end, attach them and then feed them back in. I'll show you on a video. So we pop these through the little hole here and out the end. This one's going to go through the hole and out the end. And now feed these two, and one of them is marked, so I know which which is which. And now feed these two down the tube. Let's guide them a little bit. They are here. These are now going to get drawn back in. Now, quick one for you. When this pipe, when this cabling comes through and I lift that pipe up, there's going to be a lot more cable. That cable technically is spare. So what I've done at the top here, I've just kept it out so that when we pull this up, I can keep this tight, cable tight, and just tuck it in Otherwise, it will all fall out the bottom. I'll explain a bit later on. So what I'm doing here is just pulling up these tight enough so it gets enough purchase to allow me to position this without it keep falling down. Just to keep this a little bit more. That's better. So I knew I already pre-marked at the bottom, which is about there. Let's try and position it centrally. So there you have it, it's all nicely snug and tight and locked in and that's pretty cool, I'm really happy with how that's come about. Nice and strong. Now here's what I was saying before, so now I've put this in, we get this little bit of a dangle here, so I want this inside. Hence the reason why I said, leave the top open, because what you do is, you pull this through, it's find that nice and tight. Cool. We can now zip tie or electrical tape this section here, tuck it back inside, and bang the top on to make it nice and waterproof. So I'll tie that all up now before I forget. of using these clamps is that if you think you're too low and you want to see above the tire I've just got it seeing this tiny little bit you can just release these clamps just push it up a little bit or slide it down a little bit but also these lenses you can rotate them up and down so that you can actually um, just pop them up a little bit just so they skim over but that is exactly how I wanted it so there you go all in on my Aspire 555 from Avan with the safety gate double camera. I'll show you what I've done at the front because the cable underneath, all I've done is just fed it through the chassis and through some of the rails. I've zip tied it all on. Oh, and it's all covered in the Cori pipe, which doesn't come with the safety die. Let's have a look at the front. Now I'm at the front because I need your help. I don't like drilling into things and screwing into the chassis but I did two tech screws here to hold this in place because this clearly needs to be rock solid because you're plugging it in. These are only here temporary 
there has to be a better way of clamping them in. Now I'm looking at this pipework here and I can see them things, but again, I'm drilling in and I don't really want to. So if any of you have got any tips on how I can put something here that will hold these nice and neat rather those ugly um, zip ties, that would be really helpful if you could put some information down in the comments below. Okay, so that's it team. That is me, my A-van and my safety Dave attached to the new van. Just can't wait to get going. Um, we'll be hitting the road soon. Pretty sure we'll be hitting the road soon. Uh, so if you have any questions, please fire them in the comments below. Give me some tips on how I can fix those cables nice and neat to the drawbar rather than ugly zip ties. And if you like what you're seeing, I'm going to be doing some more mods in this, converting it to lithium, putting in an inverter system, and a few bits and pieces like that. So yes, sign up, subscribe, and keep in touch. Peace, and let's bounce.